Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. One, two, three. This is going to be an interview of Ruslan. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but we'll see if we can find out in the beginning. All right, this is going to be a pause. Let's get rid of this junk. It's a great time to to come to discuss anything. Yeah. Do you do you hear me? Do you I, hear me? I do. Can you hear me? All right. I think I hear you very nice, very very nice, and I see you very nice. So it's it, on my on my end it works just fine. But how about you? You you hear me? You see me? Yes, it seems good. Seems good. So yes, we have a uh, we have contact. Sure, sure. Uh, pleasure, Nana. I, I like. I like. Uh, uh, thank you for inviting me. I enjoy this conversation. Oh, it's my pleasure. I think. I think we're going to have to figure out how to get uh, lots of people on a level level playing field. Okay. How to how to leave their egos home, and come. Yeah. <laughs> And come out and play on a level playing field. You may have some secrets because you've already started with games. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm a, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer since uh, maybe five years, and, and uh, there is a reason for that. As I did maybe describe it uh, when I would work at in a child psychiatry, I. I I uh, realized that the kids don't like psychiatry. <laughs> uh, the kids prefer games, right? So, so I start to build um, those games for health, and so call it. It, it, it is actually an American movement uh, coming from Boston, uh, just to mention, uh, and uh, it kind of uh, you know proliferated to Europe and became a big movement in Europe too. So it is every year. It's um, quite a conference, uh, like 800 people or something gather gather um, in um, Holland every year. Usually in Amsterdam, but like last year in, um, in Utrecht. And uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of development. So uh, so I developed a couple of. Um, both games and applications, because it is kind of, uh, you know, the border between games and application, I think. It's, sometimes it's gamification, as it calls, and um, yeah, so uh, I, I, I like games. I, I like games as a medium uh, for um, conveying kind of modern and actually very much uh, patient-centric health. Because in game you do not have, you know, any uh, healthcare arrangement around. It. It's uh, you and, and the game, and if the game have uh, have uh, some health-oriented, uh, you know, message, then we, it will work kind of stripe stripe of the package. So it, it it is interesting medium, and I actually developed a couple of those, and uh, I will be happy to to present it to you or to an SPM uh, fellow. Just just to to see if, uh, there is evidence based effects of such games. Yeah, it's and it application. Sounds, it sounds good. Uh, I think the the bottom line that 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 I've come to is that we need to um, find better ways to cooperate. And uh, yeah. that's the reason I took the, um, I take the time to, to actually talk to people uh, because I think it's so important. And um, one of the, I ask usually several similar questions, but it's really just a conversation. Yeah, sure. And, uh, yeah, please, please. and I think, what I what most people like to know is a little bit about background yeah, and sure. how your personal and professional experience brought you uh, to uh, Society for Participatory Medicine. Yeah. And what you know, what you uh, expect to get out of Society for Participatory Medicine and then what you have to give society for participatory medicine. Sure, sure. 
<laughs> Those are the broad, broad uh, background kind of questions, but this is a conversation, so we can we can go wherever we like. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, I follow I follow your questions, and uh, I start with them. Um, kind of describe describe who I am, and uh, I'm I'm a doctor, medical doctor, last forty years. I've been a neurosurgeon for twelve twelve years, and then neurologist and uh, general surgeon, and last twenty years I'm psychiatrist, and uh, it's uh, quite a journey. So I kind of being around this, you know, <laughs> this organ of, on any any uh, imaginable. Uh, position, but uh, uh, last 20 years I'm psychiatrist, I, I like it, and I, I do some research and development too. Um, how uh, how I uh, how I come to uh, SPM? It, it is um, for for some 20 years ago I, I started quite an unusual project and um, I, I was I was um, at the time I was um, chief for psychiatric department in one Stockholm suburb it's called Nunesham and then um, I kind of was disappointed but how inefficient and actually boring system was. So I was trying to find another way to deliver uh, mental health care. So uh, so I um, kind of, it, it was different, uh, different reasons for me to, to choosing the actual path, but it was, uh, I, I was at the time, I was uh, attending uh, Sweden's most prestigious economic uh, um, institution. Uh, I was uh, studying leadership in uh, healthcare and administration in healthcare in at Stockholm School of Economics, and uh, I was kind of very much impressed uh, by uh, by the level of education, but also by the ambience all, all people <laughs> all people my my fellow students there was kind of. Um, very happy and uh, optimistic. And when I come back to my clinic, I meet, I met a lot of people who was pessimistic and depressed. So I thought maybe it is kind of question of leadership, but just expose people for leadership and maybe they will, you know, bloom out. And uh, so I was, it was kind of crazy idea, but I thought maybe I will arrange some program uh, which will remind this uh, leadership development program uh, which I was attend attending in, in Stockholm School of Economics so I did I did I started since I was chief chief at this place I, I, I had kind of some additional liberties so so I started this project and I uh, start to educate patients in leadership and uh, in the beginning they was kind of not very happy with that and uh, they thought it was a stupid idea but but eventually they, they hang on and we start to you know find a way together and uh, suddenly start works and it was kind of tremendously so so from that uh, it is it was kind of 15 years ago so we start developed together with patients and uh, uh, I um, Eventually, it became a very, very different uh, project. We teach it, uh, me and, and people who I was working with, we was teaching patients how to be a therapist. We, we was teaching them as, as, as if they would, you know, psychology students who, who was learning uh, psychotherapy, right? So um, we did that, and it works just fine. So... Um, so uh, we kind of continue, continue, and it, it became better and better and better. And in the end, it was patients who deliver the psychotherapy. And the effect was amazing. They kind of outperformed just anything, you know, psychotropic drugs and cognitive behavior therapy, just anything it was compared to. So eventually it became a study. Uh, real, you know, serious study at Karolinska Institute uh, where we was following 250 patients in three years and compared to CBT and business as usual, which is for the most, you know, pills. Uh, so uh, when if, if, when the um, uh, result of study come, it was, uh, you know, uh, double-blinded and just everything. It was high-quality high study. Uh, and um, 
as a result was that we outperformed everything. And uh, uh, those patients group, formally, they was lead, led by, um, uh, um, what is the name? Uh, nurses, uh, lowest, lowest, um, uh, lowest formal training in healthcare. It is midwife. Yeah, midwives. Uh, and then um, I, I, from the beginning, I wanted to be this pro uh, project be uh, lead by patients, but uh, nobody accepted it. It was kind of too crazy. So I took the lowest formal training level available, and it is midwives, right? So um, so midwives led those groups, and they outperformed just everything. And it is now, after five years and a lot of quarrel, because it, it took five years to publish this because it it was shocking shocking result it, this result is actually saying that there is no need for psychotherapist <laughs> so pa patients could do therapy on themselves and uh, with uh, tremendous results so it was nobody likes this uh, result <laughs> so I, I i believe i am now hated by kind of all psychologists well, in sweden well, they, they <laughs> hate it they hate it because because it works and then so they don't have a job yeah. anymore, huh? Uh, yeah, like approximately. I, I, I actually wouldn't say so. I, I think they are kind of too dramatic. It's not at all. I, I my wife is psychologist. <laughs> I like psychologists, and uh, so yeah, I, I, I'm not at all against psychologists, but they do not need to do, you know, basic jobs. They kind of overqualified. For, for this job and the uh, patients do it perfectly themselves yeah it just give them good and right tools and uh, i i i we give, we give them tools we teach them this is how you do psychotherapy and uh, if you want you can apply it you now on your wife on your dog or, or whatever whatever as a fellow people fellow patient uh, but this is how we do it. and we then just you know, get them free so to do whatever they want. And, and we, I mean, it is a couple of thousand patients who, who follow this program and the uh, effect uh, ratio is uh, enormously high. <laughs> but uh, but um, everybody, you know, like, uh, it was a surprise for me. And uh, in the beginning, it was a shock. Now, I, it's not a shock no more, but uh, I, I may be still disappointed but nobody want to have this nobody no no authorities no academia no research no nothing they just kind of turn turn back because uh, it is um, effective mental health care without <laughs> health care <Yeah. laughs> without mental health care yeah so it does it goes against the business it's a problem yeah because, sure. Let me, yeah because it works know, yeah, it, it, yeah. I, uh, nobody, nobody question my numbers because it is published in Oxford Journal of Family Medicine. It is kind of, you know, you you cannot, you cannot uh, uh, challenge that. It, it is published. It is as it is, and it, it states very clearly that it is most effective uh, psychotherapy program available. But um, um, it is. Um, like it's it maybe sounds kind of paranoid. I'm not a paranoid person. I just tell you the reality of this. Uh, and nobody, uh, Swedish Psychiatric Association, don't want me to present it on Swedish psychiatric meetings. Um, our psychological psychiatrical media don't want to publish it. It's like that. So the way it looks to me is this is true of most innovative things that are yeah. happening. Uh, that and in my personal experience has been I've tried to do these things for the patients instead of with yeah. the patients. And so yeah. when you go off a little bit too far from the mainstream of, of medicine and the business of medicine, then they say, uh, well, why don't you go away? And if you, yeah. have, if you have the patients working with you, then they can't say, oh, why don't you go away anymore? And, um, yeah. and that's my mistake that I made for 40 years by working yeah. for people but not with them. And 
And, absolutely, absolutely. And that's why, I mean, I don't know how you feel, but that's why I went to SPM and that's why we set up Veritas Healthcare because I can one-on-one, -on -one, I can do things that work, but I can't scale it up without the people. So yeah. it seems yeah. like you have similar experience on the other side of the world, six hours away. Uh, Absolutely. In some time. Yeah. And uh, the the cases uh, and our numbers uh, and, uh, to prove that uh, the therapy became much better. Uh, results of the therapy became, became much better. Uh, you more... Uh, patient's involvement was kind of on place. So in the beginning, I was afraid, of course. I didn't know what I can dare to do, what what can I dare uh, ask patients to do. But, you know, year after year, uh, I saw you more patients did than better this therapy became. So right. it, for me, no doubt that this therapy is so effective because of patient's involvement. Because okay. there is kind of nothing, you know, uh, there is kind of nothing magical about this therapy. We do smart things, but very many people do smart things. But it turned kind of viral and uh, amazing, and patients come in and start to do patients' part of this. So everything changed. Right. And uh, I mean, I, I did it for so many years now, so I I, I have no doubts. I understand why it worked. It, it worked because of patients coming in. And this is the thing you you just cannot, uh, uh, you, you just cannot, um, you know, make a concert, a package, healthcare, with our healthcare tools. It, it, there, is, there is a limit how long we can come in into this process of, you know, changing life paths and everything. So you, you, we can go just 50% of the way, but from the other side, from patient side, they have to go 50% of the way, then it will kind of bloom up. So, so I did a couple of such program, and uh, uh, and uh, how I, uh, I mean, I'm a curious guy, so I'm surfing around and I check and can the uh, last when I started this for 20 years ago, nobody cares about this. I mean, I, I thought I was the only guy in the world who, doing, who did this kind of stuff. But now, last five years in Sweden, it's a, a lot of debate. Uh, it's called patient-centric care or something. It's many names, right? But uh, the, 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 the thing is the same to kind of engage patient and you will get better health care. Um, and um, so I started kind of surf more. And then, of course, um, it happens a lot in the U.S., I would say. It's uh, the Stanford X and, you know, it's just, just here and there, uh, new initiative. And, uh, and uh, then I kind of occasion occasionally stumble on uh, SPM and uh, I remember I was so glad to see I said wow this is this is the thing I was looking for something like that in many years I, I, I never see anything like that so I became kind of very enthusiastic and uh, I can tell you what is my reason to, to be part of uh, uh, SPM uh, I can start with I, I, I I just enjoy it because I think it is a fantastic place. It's a, it, is, it is how it should be. It, uh, it's many people engage it, and uh, discussions are very deep. Some, sometimes I don't dare to follow, uh, you know, in, into the deep. But uh, I mean, it's a, it's a great place, a great great organization, great organization. So um, yeah, I, I just you know just jump in and enjoy it very much but then if it could be possible uh, to cooperate on uh, on um, some clinical trials or, or just uh, I would will be happy to, to, to give all my stuff free to, to members of SPM just to try the therapy because one unusual one another unusual thing with the therapy is that as I mentioned in the beginning it was leadership development thing right, right. and uh, after many years and we use it like therapy uh, but 
as I said, it was leadership development. So after many years, people start to ask us, can we use it for leadership development? I said, well, yeah, let's try it. So, and then uh, I, I, I uh, tried on, uh, you know, kind of very um, advanced uh, companies like, you know, leading investors in you in Sweden, and they just love it uh, as, as a tool for leadership development. So I, I did a presentation uh, in Holland last year where we present a group, uh, it is always six person in my group, it, it is just technology of this. So um, uh, I, um, I hook up uh, people who, uh, uh, four of six was in the program for leadership and two of six was for anxiety and depression. It doesn't matter because we don't we don't talk anxiety and depression. We just talk leadership. Where would you like to come with your life? This kind of stuff. And uh, they enjoy it. Every, everyone enjoy it for own reason. Those who was uh, there for the anxiety, they kind of get anxiety down. And those who was for leadership, they, they get leadership. So I presented on this Game for Health conference, and one guy, uh, one guy connected from Dubai. He he is a young businessman. He is traveling. One was from Dubai, one from Oslo in Norway, one from Sweden, one from Finland, one from Amsterdam, like that. It was six people from different parts of the world. And they all was presented on big screen on conference, and people at conference could speak to, to them. <laughs> so it was kind of fun. So everybody liked it. I, I mean... It, it, it is working sync, and, uh, and uh, it is... Uh, it is mentioned to be executed but by people themselves. They don't need psychotherapists for, for doing that. Uh, I, I was there just, just for fun because I, I enjoy it and we, you know, we're trying things. But, but normally um, people could use it as they want. Let me ask you this. Do you think yeah. we can use that same kind of approach to train healthcare workers that will cover all of health yeah. and healthcare? Absolutely. We, we, we use it for, in those 15 years, we use it, it just for everything. We use it, it for people who was on a too long time, you know, on this um, inability list, uh, um, uh, sick list. I, I'm not sure how it, it, it goes in the US. But um, we, we tried on, on kids, on a 10 year old kids, we uh, uh, teach them leadership and how to prevent anxiety and depression when they are going into puberty, right? And uh, it, it just works fine. And uh, we, we tried on most advanced uh, modern business setting for business leaders they enjoy it uh, and thousands of patients enjoy it for you know anxiety and depression but we was teaching leadership for healthcare workers for patients you can you can take you can take a group of diabetic patients right and teach them this kind of leadership and then membership i would like to say because you know if you are part of this group six people going through this program they will be friends for life they will support each other, they will help each other, everything like that. And there is actually a study in Sweden, in, um, it, not, not our model, but some kind of this kind of model. They was, uh, pre they was uh, presenting much better result of taking care of diabetes for people who went through this program. So you could organize, we, we are talking about this uh, new model organizing healthcare, primary care. So I, if I would do this, which I uh, said I can uh, thinking about doing that, so I will organize all patients in such groups, in such uh, help each other and help yourself groups. And uh, there is there is actually good uh, good signs uh, uh, pointing uh, pointing at uh, results will be better. It will be better, you know, sugar control. So you, you, you can use it for just anything. You you can try to uh, for SPLM, but just uh, if people are wondering at all about psychological, you know, stuff, <laughs> just just you know, be uh, feeling better. 
Now you, you can use it for that. Tell me about the literature. You said there that you've done quite a bit of research and you have documentation. Can you share that with us? Um, I can I can send you I can send you it, it is only publication it, it was very very heavy study I would say at Karolinska Institute it, it took three years 250 patients was followed uh, very close but uh, during three years so it was kind of very heavy stuff it, it, I I believe it costed one million dollars something like that, this study so it was big study uh, and. Uh, uh, I can I can uh, send you a link to this. It is uh, published. It is just to just see, see uh, those results. But uh, um, I, I was trying now in five six year. It, it is it it went five six year after the study was was done and finished, and I was trying to do next study you know you have to do next study when when something very very unusual and unexpected come you you must re replicate the study right uh, i i could find any university in sweden uh, any professor you know with name any authority nobody want to do more to this, this kind of research because this research say you don't need anything more. This is this is a solution. <laughs> it it, uh, <laughs> it provoke everybody. Uh, well, I think the question becomes, where do we go from here? Because if you have a program that works, that actually is, yeah. that we can cooperate around, um, I think that means it's an opportunity to help uh, people everywhere around the globe which means, um, why not do it? Why not do it? This is exactly my point. And so I would like to help you do what you want to do. Uh, I think SPM will do their part. I think Veritas Self-Care can help you also um, to do what you want to do. We need to just talk about the details at some point in the future. Uh, I, I think I'm, I'm making a list. I don't know if you can see it, but in the chat, I'm making a list of points in the chat on the, uh, it's called the group chat on the side of the window. So I'm just typing in there and making some yeah. uh, uh, points that seem to be, you know, the questions or seem to be relevant. And I'll put that in an email to you at some point. Yeah. Um, where we, so we can go back and forth a little bit and talk about uh, opportunities to cooperate. Uh, but I think if we take this interview, if we put in a nutshell, how would you change, if you were king of the world, how would you change yeah. health and health care to make it right? I, uh, I would say uh, not being a king, <laughs> king of the world, but an enthusiastic guy. So I would like to change a lot. Uh, I've seen I've seen those things to work. I, I've seen it. I'm, I mean, I'm not enthusiastic beyond the reasonable. I, I'm I'm uh, also a very practical guy. I, I you know I I chronically suspicious, you know, for a anything hype. Uh, Basic. I, I, I like you know strong results. I, 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 I like strong numbers. You're a scientist. This is what I do. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I would like, I would like to prove my case with numbers, not with words. So, uh, and uh, actually, I did. So, um, I am absolutely, Michael. It is. Maybe it is enthusiastic in me saying that, but I am absolutely sure that very big portion of healthcare can be changed with this technology. Uh, not only you know talking about engagement patients, but I I know exactly how to engage patients. It's uh, this program is not some you know huge monster it is 24 hours it, it, it is not in a row but people usually do it in one one and a half months uh, it is kind of a 
three times, three hours a day, a day nine day program. It is very, very compact program. So it's not kind of commitment beyond reason, reasonable. It's uh, just actually simple thing to do. Uh, I would apply it on very many aspects of uh, like primary care, right? So let's organize patients and just, this is what I did. We just teach them how to do it right. So I, I educate them. This is how you do psychotherapy. And maybe you will tell this is how you do, I know, di diabetes uh, management or whatever, chronic back pain, right. whatever, you know, high blood pressure. And we organize it and just let it happen. And uh, the, the very important part of this model is that everything is um, uh, registered. So we we do like sixty registering a day. Like how you like this, draw a slider. How you like this, and how you dislike. And people kind of measure all the time. So after people went through this program, you have ready to use scientific report. <laughs> so you, you just send it to BMG, right? <laughs> and it will be even better. Actually, there is one thing I was thinking about. You know. You like um, uh, participatory medicine. I like. I love participatory medicine, but for, for, to get to to make it happen, right? We have to present numbers. We have to present. We 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 have to say if you do this participatory way, you will get this result. If if you do it classical way, you will get this result. And uh, it is no doubt for me that this participatory method is much more effective. Let's present it. Let's show that it is more, uh, it, there is box to save. And then very many people who kind of regulate healthcare will listen because if you talk, you know, with economists on economist way, you, you show them numbers, then they will start to listen. I, I and, agree uh, with you. I would like to. So the question I would is like this. To do this. The question is this. Yeah. How can SPM and VHC help you to do these things? I uh, I'd like I'd like just to uh, to present you this technology and uh, just uh, if some people are interested just. Uh, just try it's a uh, it's not you know it's not uh, it's a good thing uh, people usually um, feel very good from this how do you feel uh, about, uh, how, how do you feel about trying to set up a, a research project uh yeah a global absolutely. a global a global research project and get funding for it absolutely Absolutely. You have on, on board, you have, uh, I've seen a couple of scientists with kind of, you know, good names, right? Uh, if, if you could uh, set it uh, up as a, as a project and then um, just uh, compare to business as usual and uh, take this model to demonstrate what, what difference it will make if you engage patients and uh, you will get clear number. You will get this is like five and this is ten. Yeah. It will be kind of very obvious. I will send you, so please see those numbers from the study. Uh, so um, it is effective. It, it is effective and since you measure everything, so you will get your results kind of very quick. And uh, let's let's uh, let's in, engage patients in doing research, and then let's present it on you know Stanford Medicine X, because yes. they would like everybody would like to see results of such a results uh, yeah. such a research. Let's do it. It's a little bit more than just a passive participa participation. It's more active participation. It's uh, more ownership, the way I see it when the uh, people are not only learning but they're actually providing care and yeah. and in the process of providing care it's they're taking care of themselves and taking care of others yeah. and taking care of a problem yeah. which is a massive social problem and it's global so it's a beautiful uh, yeah. recipe i think 
of it's a beautiful recipe to get people to cooperate with each other to help solve a wicked global problem. Yeah, so I like it. I think it's a beautiful thing. I think we should spend some time and energy on this. Yeah, we can. I I can imagine that maybe maybe a kind of soft start would be just identify uh, six people within SPM. They don't need to have any problem at all. Uh, let's say they will te they will learn some leadership. Leadership is good to know, right? So. Uh, I, I can tell you of those thousands of people who, who did this program, no one told me that it was boring, just no one. Everybody think it is exciting, they learn about themselves, you know, it's it's a good thing, It's people talk a lot about it. So if we just uh, find six, uh, you know, <laughs> enthusiastic people who would like to explore a little bit, and just let, the, let them play with this. Because, you know, of course, there is some difference between the European way and the American way. But let's just get six American on board and let them play with this. And they will come back and they, they will tell, this is what we think. I think that's a great idea. So you, you want to make a pilot project. Yeah. And, and, uh, and then from that... Let, I'd say let me let me uh, have you send me the background information and the documentation, yeah. the research that's been done. Yeah. Then we can make a pilot project that's a cooperative pilot project, and then maybe yeah. from yeah. that we can build a larger project and get funding, yeah. something like that as a as a kind yeah. of a rough outline. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Um, uh, Michael, I, I'll be happy. I'll be so happy because, as I said, the last five, six years, I was kind of spending meeting professors uh, who kind of was clearly not interested. I think you know, I understand. It has to it, come from it the bottom. No offense, it it is no fancy drugs. No, no, it, it is kind of patients doing doing um, a professional's job, and uh, they say, oh, no, why? Why should we go this way? Yeah, yeah it's a, so I'd be just I be, we'll be just very happy without no preconditions just completely you know just let's let's see what's happened so uh, I, I can guarantee that people will be not bored I, I can guarantee it is exciting well, thing I th the way I look at it is how do we make health and health care fun and delicious so yeah <laughs> it, it, so it's exactly, it was part, exactly my this, word this is the fun part. And the delicious part is good yeah. food that tastes good. So yeah, yeah, I'm very much for good food. <laughs> I think I think this is great. I think we're we're finding yeah. we're we're building a community of people who really care about health and healthcare, and who really want to mm -hmm. make it better. And if we can get a half a dozen people to join in your pilot project. I don't. It, it should be easy. It should be easy. I, I, I will be happy. I will do anything I can to make it happen. So I will, uh, I will support it, in, you know, uh, with um, advices and just everything I can. I could be a, a kind of co-pilot in this first group and be very available for consultations and uh, discussions and talk. And I, I, I am very much sure. This to, it will win a lot if it will be like cooperative thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll be I'll be willing to be your assistant and uh, help uh, get this together. No. And Michael, it, it will be an honor. It will be an honor. I I would appreciate it um, a, a whole lot. Uh, it's it's um, it's. Uh, it, it it's fantastic. So and, and as I said, without no precondition, without uh, I'm just very very ready to jump into this. Okay, that sounds great. Um, uh, is there anything else you want to ask me or tell me? Um, anything you want to share with the SPM group? Anything else? Um. I have a couple of uh, other projects, not of this magnitude, but I have preventive program to prevent, uh, you know, cancer and uh, uh, 
you know, cardiac infarction, and it is um, it is kind of a very fun thing. Uh, it is mobile application. It's called angel hour and uh, it will just make you meditate half an hour three times a week and uh, exercise half an hour and i explain in details how to do it right but it is fun it is uh, the kind of people like it uh, so i would like uh, it, it is kind of it is based on very very heavy uh, research on preventive medicine so the, the, according to this research and i have just all numbers I need to prove it, uh, all publications that it, it is prevent at least 50% of risk of getting cancer, uh, at least 75% of risk of getting stroke or cardiac infarction. Uh, all this is kind of heavy, heavy research in background. So I didn't, I didn't, you know, invent the prevention of cancer. I didn't invent prevention of stroke. I just made a fancy front end. <laughs> Because it looks like it is an angel holding an angel holding a baby, and uh, it, it kind of uh, present uh, this angel. It's a guardian angel, which we yeah. all have. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It, it, strong, it's strong part of us. So baby, it is soft, which is in need of care. If you exercise, you see those angels. If you don't exercise, they will kind of fade out in two days. Yes. Because so, it is so it's it's, a... like, it is like Tamagot. It's a game. It's a game, it's like, I take it? Perfect. Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of a game. If you, if you don't train today, the angels will disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I like so it. If you, if you would like to have them back, go, go do exercise again. Uh, can, you, can you share that? So Is that? You want to share that with... Sure, sure, sure. I will, I will send you. It is in both both programs right now in kind of major remake. It will come back as a web application in one month. We were just, you know, fresh, refreshing everything technical. Ah. So I will send you all information, but uh, 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 but um, website is right right now down for a month. For for we we change everything, but uh, it's. Uh, those programs just work fine. So, so you will get information. But uh, Michael, just a short question. I mentioned for you that I actually do my my own um, video project, and uh, I'm trying to uh, make some kind of mini conferences uh, in participative about participative medicine. I, I believe I mentioned it in in, uh, and I will take. It, it is it is plan uh, plan like uh, you have one patient, one doctor, one scientist, one um, uh, policy maker, and have those mini conferences like thirty minutes, and then boil it down to twelve minutes or something about participative medicine. And uh, uh, on Wednesday, uh, January. 20. I will interview uh, one guy, uh, which um, his name is Anders Eckholm, and uh, he is a very, very visionary man. He was uh, chief strategist of Swedish government uh, for healthcare development, uh, and uh, he's kind of very popular and uh, uh, talk a lot on in, in conferences and everything. Uh, so he he is kind of uh, he. I guess he liked what I do, so he told me, oh, yeah, it's a great idea, let's do that. So I will talk to him about this uh, uh, issue, which I understand you engaged the uh, business of medicine. <laughs> and then I, I guess I know much less than you about business of medicine, but I know something. So, uh, and uh, it will be kind of from my perspective. And I completely understand if it's not suit you, but it, it would be cool, you know, to to have two different voices, like one Swedish guy who who do know a lot about business of medicine, and uh, he is not happy with as it is right now. He is kind of very critical. He says that we all can do better which, of course, we believe, right? And then ask you, who you are engaged in the U.S., and it, this, you know, cultural uh, uh, switch can, can, be, yes. can be creative and interesting. So I just wonder if you could, uh, could consider, I mean, it is 30 minutes we just talk, and then, but we will record it, record, then we will cut down, you know, all, all what is not, not meant to be there, 
we will be then four people if you participate but uh, as again i understand if it's not if it's not work for you but it will be fun like uh, uh, you know very, have completely very, free discussion very happy to participate i just need to make sure we we just need to coordinate the schedule sure sure and uh, anytime it's it's like uh, exactly as i said if this is six time difference could it be like this time it will be completely fantastic uh, and uh, he gave me just slot that he is available from um, uh, eight o'clock uh, uh, what uh, 14 in sweden minus six uh, eight from eight o'clock in the morning to this time um, or later he's available so if you just give me what is possible for you i will arrange and uh, i can uh, provide this um, you know call and um, uh, record everything and then we will we, we will cut it do some uh, after after work with this uh, recording then i will send it to you and to andes and then ask for approval and if you approve then we will publish and is, is this and, do you have a date a date set yet yes 20 uh, january 20 it is wednesday okay well let me let me look at my uh, calendar and i will uh, tell you what looks good to me. Um, I think that's okay. Uh, it should be great. That sounds like fun. Uh, anything that's yeah, fun I, and cooperative, yeah, I, I, I like to participate. I think that's great. Great. Uh, I, I really enjoy our conversation. And by just, I, I know, I know, I go over time now, but just very, very short. Could I ask you, could you advise me, how can we best um, develop this um, uh, Nobel Prize thing? Because uh, I, I am very excited. I would like to, to do it. And, and I would like to do everything. And, yeah. I like cooperation. I don't see any way to get anything accomplished that that's really meaningful without cooperation. Yeah. So, sure, exactly. so, I think we need to talk, you and I need to talk about how to set up the, the program that would actually do, and I mean, I think we need a group of people who were willing to cooperate on this yeah. particular issue. So, uh, there was quite a bit of interest in the, on the list at SPM. Six people six people told six people told me they would like to cooperate. So maybe on this. Maybe we should uh, plan to get a Google Hangout together on that. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic idea because uh, I think uh, like in the beginning we have to feel I mean after this half an hour I have <laughs> I I think I have much better feeling about who you are because you know just you know look at people you understand a lot mm -hmm. so maybe it is a good thing that everybody kind of come together and uh, just you know talk freely and uh, express their you know concerns but also yeah yeah hope and uh, and we just talk yeah. through this what what is a good next uh, step and i and i believe that it's a good idea to record these because then you can uh, then, yeah. then we can get a transcript then we can look at the details and yeah. we can make lists yeah yeah uh from the yeah. conversation yeah. so so i'm Would recording be, uh, this entire conversation uh on air any yeah. and and if you do it on air, on air? <laughs> you, you do it on, on air you google on air you're recording with uh, Camtasia or Google on air. Oh yeah, what, yeah. What I'm, using, you uh, I'm, I'm using Snag. Okay. Snag is the yeah. is also coming from the same people that make Camtasia. Do, do, does it work nice? You you very, recommend very because easy, I'm looking very, for very easy and inexpensive. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's let's use it and let's just uh, you know just start talking uh, because uh, um, it's, it's it's a nice people and uh, uh, i think you know to 
to, to have a working group, it is difficult with more than six people, uh, you know, at, at once, because it will be kind of very crowded. Uh, I, I know because we have those six, six patients, yeah, right. and well, six patients talking, you know, everybody talking, it will be kind of bulky. <laughs> Why don't so, we, uh, well, you and I can, we can, we can meet again to talk more about uh, planning. Uh, but yep. for what I'm going to do with this, with this recording, I'm going to send it to you before it gets edited and before it goes to <laughs> SPM. And I will let you decide, you know, do you want me to send the whole thing and let them edit it? Or do you want to edit it before it goes to them, I'll let you decide that because um, I think it's all fine. I would send the whole thing and say, hey, this is our conversation. Uh, listen to what you yeah. like and, and so be it. But, yeah. So, Michael, I would, I would like to ask you to kind of do it uh, you feel is right to do because uh, I, um, frankly, I, I, I'm not so sure I wonder how compatible I am uh, with um, Americans. Uh, of course, I know a couple of Americans, but not too many. So uh, I, I just uh, would like to ask you, just do what you think is right. I, I, I'm very comfortable with whatever you do, uh, cut it or just just do what you think is right. Because, uh, okay. I mean, I enjoy this conversation. Right. Well, I, I look at it this way. Everything I do for SPM, I'm doing for the world. So I'm comfortable sharing all of it. Uh, it's it's fine with yeah. me, and people can take it or leave it, and <laughs> it's okay. I I I I uh, I'm very happy with uh, whatever way you bend it. So I, I I like it. I mean, I I enjoy this conversation. This is what I can say right, about it. Right. Well, I think it's great. I would I plan to meet with you again. I, I will do that. I'm gonna send. Yep. I will send you an email that has all my comments that I typed in on the side on the chat. I will put, send all those yep. comments to you and um, tell you. Yeah. I'll give you a list of things that I think we need to follow up on. If if that's okay with you, that's what my plan would be. Absolutely. 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 So yeah, I, I I just follow you. So please lead lead this operation. I I follow you. All right. I think it's great. I think uh, it's it's been a pleasure, and I think there are many people out there like you. And uh, I think we need to get everyone into the same cooperative space. That's my goal. And the, the more we do to get there, uh, the better. Um, and and, and you, and I will, I will. you and I will keep working on it. And I think maybe your prize, your Nobel Prize, yeah. may have to yeah. do with maybe giving it to a group of people who know how to cooperate, who've learned how to cooperate. Yeah, it is... Um... Michael, it is exactly my idea. I, I I would like to nominee. I just have to think how to do it smart. I would like to nominee SPM in this price of uh, cooperation. I I'm I'm looking for word. I I'm playing with word like unity, union, uh, Nobel Prize for unity. I don't know. This word will come to us, but I, I actually would like I actually would like to nominate SPM uh, because I kind of, as I said, I like SPM. So, and uh, uh, I don't know the better organization uh, which promote cooperation, you know, which promote uh, participation. Yeah. I, do you know better organization? I don't know. Well, I never I never all, seen all anything I can, better. All I can say is I I don't know that you've. If you've checked on Veritas Healthcare on an art on on the nonprofit that we set up uh, three years ago, but I will send you the link. And I personally think it it's really not an organization that wins the prize. It's people, and yeah, and so it would I would rather see a list of people who can cooperate outside of a particular organization. 
if I were going to make a prize? I mean, if we if we kind of uh, uh, kind of make this uh, form of nomination form, it it is okay to nominate very many different people and just let people vote, right? So if this is how I see it, that people will nominate and then it will be some kind of voting, like kind of direct direct democracy way. There is, you know, such voting machines on, on, on the net. So people kind of vote for whatever they believe in, and then it will be this Nobel Prize so let's do in cooperation. This. Let's, do, let's do a Google Hangout for that. Yeah. Let's set up a Google Hangout. I'm going to write this yeah. down, okay, so I don't forget. Uh, I'll, I'll type it in here on the message, and then I'll send it to you. So Google. Yeah. More than one. So we're going to do a Google Hangout uh, about your Nobel Prize. Your... Yeah, we can, we can stay, uh, everybody who would like to hang on this Nobel Prize discussion. And uh, uh, as, as I said, six persons said yeah. they would like to part, uh, and then, participate. In and this. then we're going to do one on the, uh, your uh, teaching in leadership teaching and training yeah yeah we can we can do that too um for better health and health care and um what else do we need to do a google hangout on and uh, if po and if possible please just let me know if you if you would like to participate on this uh, business of medicine discussion with um, Anders Eckhorn because he he's a fun guy I, I i can tell you january 20th and the, and, uh, the best hours for you best best hours uh, like from uh, from uh, uh, it is noon at your place from 8 in new york to to now or maybe two hours late, it's still okay. It will be uh, twenty oh oh here. But if this this time is absolutely fantastic, this time because it is kind of here in in a way it is the middle of the day. Okay, so uh, just uh, six, six so hours. so my New York noon time is good. Very good. It's a, it's a, it's just very very good time. And plus minus two hours, it's absolutely okay. Okay. Now, what are you calling this meeting? Um, they say it will be just discussion about participatory medicine. I, I don't really have some kind of, you know, hard name. It will come to us. But the plan is I would like to to talk to people who care about participative medicine and, uh, like, four six people hang out okay uh, like you know says and mess it's absolutely free and everybody everyone would have opportunity to present themselves okay. maybe their organization what they what they do believe in what they think is right, right. difficult just, just free discussion about participatory medicine okay. and i'm going to send you an invitation to join veritas health care yeah. the non-profit yeah that that uh, yeah. that I'm talking about. I want you to join us as a founding member. Okay. I am. I uh, I am. I would be very happy. So I am. As I said, I enjoy a lot this. Uh, All right. Well, this is fantastic. So. I think we are making a, a lot of progress by uh, bringing some very uh, highly motivated people together, and mm. uh, our health. And our brain power is our wealth. We have no money. We have only brain power <laughs> and health. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not so little for me. It's uh, you know. It is so many, so many people around who have a lot of money but no brain power. So, um, so uh, I, I don't feel uh, poor. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Yes. I feel rich. Yes, that's our wealth. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's great. Absolutely. I'm glad. You, Absolutely. I'm glad you join us, and I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm happy to join. And I and I will uh, talk to you again soon. 
Uh, uh, please do. I will be. I'm looking forward. All right, great. And you need thank to let thank me you know so much. if there's anything else we can do to help you. You need to tell me. Yeah. And I will. I will send you. I will send you um, uh, this um, uh, publication uh, URL to, to publication in Oxford Journal uh, because uh, and then kind of additional information because this publication is kind of very very dry you know it's just right. numbers 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 but i will describe you a little bit what it, what it is about i think that's perfect and and so we'll talk again soon uh, i'm gonna wish you a good yeah. wish you a good day good night and uh we'll yeah. talk again soon thank you very much same to you same to you thank you very much my pleasure my pleasure my pleasure too. Thank <laughs> you.